Well, howdy. Welcome to Fishtail. Well, once again, it ain't Fishtail. <laughs> I ain't going fishing. I'm going to go set my bee traps. These things right here are bee traps. This is my latest version here. They come in up, up right up underneath the lid. There's holes in the top of this thing. You hang that in a tree. They think it's a hive. And hopefully they move in there and then I'll harvest them and put them in a regular box. But we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. I'm going way out in the country. That's a creek system down there. Very long one. And that's where I'm going to look for bees and put my bee traps up. Somewhere along that in those big trees. Along that creek. Well, there's a perfect branch on the perfect tree at the perfect height. Right along the creek next to the opening. Out of the way, that branch right there on that pecan tree. Right there is where I'm going to put this thing. One of them right there. Here's my traps. I got two different variations. This is my latest one. I think that's going to work. They enter in through the top or the bottom. Uh, it's been centered up real good inside with a starter board with beeswax and syrup and honey. And I'm going to take the bottom lip of it. I'm going to fill that with K-Row syrup. That'll add attractant to it so they'll find it. And then you just let it sit here as long as it takes. We're going to put it on the top. A good bit on top and a good bit along the edge. On the sides. This will be what attracts them initially. They'll find this corn syrup real quick. All right, that's enough of that. See, now that's going to scent that thing up with sugar. So they'll find it. Now I just got to take it, put it up in a tree. There you go. Tie it on a knot in the back of the tree. Hang it up in there. Up in the air. That particular one, the bees get in it. Underneath that lid. They love to crawl up. And it's dark. I put a vent in that one. They can get in the bottom too, but it's just a temporary catch hive. If you get lucky enough and a swarm moves in, you let them get established. And then you come and pull them out of that trap and put them in a regular hive. And right, pick up my K-Row and head down the creek. Find the second location. Boy, don't that look like a bee tree. Another big old pecan. Got a perfect branch on it too. And a tree right next to it that's look at that boy if that ain't had bees in it before it probably should have now I think I am going to put it right here got these horse apple trees down here it's a nice shady area got a perfect branch right there This is a good looking spot too. Alright, let me get busy. Alright, this trap's a little bit different than the other one. It actually hangs in the other direction. But I'm gonna bait it up the same way. I'm gonna put a bunch of K-Ro corn syrup right up underneath that lip. This one is an entrance from the bottom of the hive. It's not ventilated, so I don't know how good this one's gonna work. This is this hive would be a little easier for the bees to protect once they got established, which is pretty important. Number two. Set and ready. Covered in uh, corn syrup. <laughs> Let me get my corn syrup and go get the other two traps. I'm going to put them up front. Trap number three. I'm going to go up in that Osage orange tree. 
right near the creek, right near some flowers, right near the pond. Nice little open area here. Now it just becomes a waiting game. I met up with a landowner, a good friend of mine. I've been around for a lot of years. I worked for Wally when I was 16 or so, building fences and taking care of pigs. Known him a long time. That's his old dog, Duke. Wally's not much for taking pictures, but he really wanted a picture of that dog because he's getting kind of old and might not be around much longer. The dog, not Wally. But you never really know. After getting all those traps set, I went back to the workshop and finished up my specially modified catch hive. So check back here in a little bit. I'll have the video of putting that thing in place. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. <laughs> Bye.